So Purim is a very cultural holiday. Uh, it's the atmosphere surrounding the holiday, and it's, it's actually not very religious because most of the people in Israel are secular. Um, so you feel it when you go to the supermarkets, and you can see already hamantashens, which in Hebrew call hosnei uh, aman, uh, and you can see mishloch uh, manot are being set up uh, in different places, and uh, in the schools they prepare you for this whole week towards Purim, which every day you put uh, something else. So let's say the first day will be a uh, funny hat day. The second day will be pyjama day. Uh, the third day will be a uh, backwards day. It can be many different, uh, many different things and many different ideas throughout the week. Um, and then uh, during Purim itself, uh, it's a big holiday in schools and at work or wherever you are. So people dress up. Uh, usually there are many parades. There's a huge parade in Tel Aviv that a lot of people from all of Israel come to see. Uh, a lot of people also go to Jerusalem to hear the scroll being read. Uh, but also it's a lot about uh, having different parties and the mitzvah of, uh, of uh, ad lo yada, until uh, you drink until you don't uh, know who you are. Um, and also there is a big parade called ad lo yada in uh, many cities where it's uh, just huge carts, uh, colorful, and many people and many clowns and many costumes. Uh, and it's just the most colorful holiday in Israel.